Gary is the CEO and has 40 years of management experience. He wants to be successful in any way possible with his team and is known for his great creative thinking and always likes to solve problems as soon as possible. Nathan, the marketing manager, is a very extrovert person and a great business leader. He has exceptional communication skills and likes to work with teams and help them with any challenges they may have. Sarah an employee in sales and a great asset to the business is an outstanding saleswoman who exceeds expectations by landing new accounts. She is naturally charming and loves to sell. Henry, the sales team leader, is a natural leader and he strives for perfection and pushes people to go just beyond average. Simon is the corporate CEO. He is an audacious business leader who has bold visions for the future. With his persuasive personality, he is always pushing for change with his new ideas for the company. Bill, the technology guru in corporate, is an intelligent man who is a high achiever and accomplishes a lot. You can find him answering tech questions or developing new systems to facilitate the corporate message. Mike, the entrepreneur of Iconic Concepts, is a peppy, energetic scientist who has developed an innovative bone of conductive technology. He calls the Innovation Lab his second home. We're introduced to our protagonist, Gary. He's meeting with his superiors from corporate to discuss the introduction of a complicated new information system. Gary's not so sure that this is a good choice for his business and consults his sales team. After much deliberation, Gary comes to the conclusion that he cannot adopt this program in good conscience. In the second episode, we return to Iconic Innovations, where Gary has identified a problem amongst his employees. They've fallen into the trap of groupthink, where creativity is being stifled by a lack of dissenting opinions. Gary knows the best way to prevent this type of thinking is with a growth mindset, focused on exposing his employees to fresh ideas and shaking up the status quo. His solution is to move the office to an innovation lab, where the team will mingle with employees from other companies. The innovation lab has been a great change for Iconic Innovations. They've been able to use their social contacts in the lab to advertise their services to a whole new customer base. They've also been introduced to a new startup company called Fuel. 
Buell has created a fascinating technology that uses the conductivity of bones to transmit messages. Gary sees the chance to acquire this company, developing rarity and setting up a competitive advantage in his field. Gary is noticing a strong feeling of dissent in the office, and his employees aren't working up to the previous standard. Gary consults with Nathan, one of his most trusted managers, to get to the bottom of this. Nathan admits that some of the employees have concerns that they want to see addressed. Gary holds a meeting to determine exactly what he can do to satisfy everyone. He takes his findings from the meeting to corporate and tries to accommodate everyone. Although organizational change can be a lot of work, the end results are often worth it. Despite the organizational change that took place last time, Gary notices that sales have remained the same. He uses his managerial experience to evaluate the entire situation and get to the bottom of it. He discovers that the problem may be arising from gaps in his communication methods. He decides to revamp his processes. He will use written communication to clearly set the sales goals. Then he will use oral communication to give instant feedback to the sales team. In the penultimate episode, we see that corporate once again wants big changes from iconic innovations. The subject on the table today is international outsourcing. Gary is understandably apprehensive, as a large-scale project like that will require a lot of time and money. The main question is whether or not the benefits would outweigh the risks associated with that kind of expansion. Gary agrees to consider it, but wants some time before they start the process. Before they begin the process of outsourcing, Gary wants to make sure that Iconic Innovations has plotted their course of action. He knows that strategic planning is an excellent tool for doing just that. He calls a meeting with Sarah and Nathan and tasks them with developing a 12-month plan focused on their goals. With this plan in place, we know that Gary and his team will have a bright future ahead of them. While working on this project, I definitely learned about management firsthand. Working with the group on a single task like this really felt like something you'd experience in the workplace. It felt less like learning management on an intellectual level and more like living out the concepts we were covering in the class.